I'm Randy Wells. I'm the director of the Chicago Zoological Society Sarasota Dolphin Research Program. I've been studying the dolphins in Sarasota Bay for the past 50 years. This is the world's longest running study of a wild dolphin population. During this time, we've had the opportunity to get to know the dolphins in Sarasota Bay quite well. We've learned that they're here across decades, across generations. We've had animals up to 67 years of age. We have as many as five concurrent generations of related individuals out in the bay. We've demonstrated these animals live here in a neighborhood that doesn't change much from year to year, and they're bordered by other similar neighborhoods up and down the coast. We've been able to understand these animals' lives in ways that have never been possible before, and part of that involves also understanding the threats that these animals are facing and how they're able to cope with them or not cope with them and what we can do to try to help. They face a variety of things out in their normal everyday life, and sometimes they face red tides, and this has serious effects on them in terms of reducing the prey that's available to them. It can kill them through their toxins, and it can also have long-lasting effects in terms of how they relate to the predators in the area as well. From uh, human sources, we find that these animals have problems with fishing gear. It's the number one source of problems from humans in this area. Entanglement in, ingestion of, and hooking by fishing gear is a really serious problem. We've been trying to understand how best to try to deal with these issues. We want everybody to be able to enjoy the bay. People have been here for many years, recreating the bay, making a living off of the bay. The dolphins have been here for even longer and they require the bay for their living. So we try to understand how we can treat the neighbors that we have out there, and actually we are their neighbors in the same waters, and we try to make sure that people can do what they wanna do while still protecting the wildlife that draws so many of the people to this area in the first place. Right now, there's about 170 dolphins that call Sarasota Bay home. And that home range goes from about Terracia Bay, the Manatee River, southern edge of Tampa Bay, down to Venice Inlet. And within that, we have animals that currently range in age up to about 49 years of age and have multiple generations. When a dolphin is in distress, the first thing to do is to call either Moat Marine Laboratory's Stranding Investigations Program or the FWC, and they will bring the appropriate people to bear to try to understand what needs to be done in the situation. We've been involved in a number of dolphin rescues over the years. We lead these rescues to try to get fishing gear off of them when this is cutting through their tissues or when it's entangled around other parts of their body. And we then do the follow-up monitoring to make sure that the rescues have gone as planned and the animals are able to thrive once they're free of the fishing gear, for example.